Like I said, this is uh, winner finals. We are jumping on the top four for this tournament. I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel. So you guys want to watch this again, check me out on YouTube. Escaping World Force on YouTube. I'm uploading a lot of content. So check me out on that, all right? Now, for anybody watching this later on, maybe on the YouTubes, and you want to play with us, come join us on Twitch. Let's get it. Here we go. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We're jumping into the, the, the best fights for today. BME versus Deathpool. Also, we're going to have a uh, beta key giveaway pretty soon. Let's go. BME is going to be on the left side, and then Deathpool is going to be on the right side. Oh, look at this. That will playing with uh, Bill Zeboob, I think is his name. Bislebub. It's Bisle Bob for easiest convenience. How, how do you call it? Uh, for convenience? Boobs, I guess. Okay. Bob's. Bob's. Bob's? All right. Let's go, Bob's. <laughs> It's game, you're thirsty today, Jesus. You see, I should play this character because he have the, the teleporting stuff, right? Like I play Azrael and I, I play uh, Azrael on Blaze Blue and a Slayer on Guild Gear. Also play uh, Mid Dimitri in like Dark Stalkers. I like the teleporting dash characters. This, one, this guy kind of had the teleport, but I just don't like his personality. Wait, then why don't you play, uh, whatchamacallit? Why don't you play Shiki then? She has to teleport. She does on um on like Samurai Showdown, about, right? The thing about Bubs is that his teleport is actually his unique skill, and it always goes a set distance, which means you have to space it correctly in order to get cross ups or you know appear in front of them, that type of thing. She said it poor is nice, but his walking is speed is bad. Yeah, yeah usually that's, that's usually what happens. You have like a teleporting dash characters, their walking speed is, is like really slow. But rupture, what's the point of uh, of walking when you literally can't anti air the man? <laughs> so this is what happened guys. Uh when you play a teleporting dash character, you usually move with your with your specials and your normals. Like you usually have like normals or specials that like move them. Overhead had it not killed. Oh okay right here. What do you guys think about this matchup? Like Chiroi and Superstar and like people on the I, chat. I can't, I can't see. What's the matchup? Uh, Bobs uh, versus, versus Ferry. Ferry? Yeah, Ferry yeah. versus Bobs. Hmm. It's definitely very interesting because I know for a fact that um, Ferry's whip cannot go through Bobs' uh, feather, which means that if Ferry gives Bobs the chance, he can Ooh. set up a free. Uh, just go in full. Which means that if you put. Go ahead. Uh, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off, but one of the more interesting things that I've seen Dad Pulp do is that whenever he dive kicks, he always uses the EX version. Now, the reason why you would use the EX version instead of the regular version, it comes down faster, and uh, the EX version is very hard to anti air. Did you see. just a normal version, like if the anti air. No, the normal like version. Like, no, like, what? Let, let me finish. If the anti, if the normal version hits you, like, unless it's like really, really close, you don't even get your punch. Also, Solid Fake, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, my guy. Como estas? Nice to see you here. But anyway, so let me tell you something, guys. Uh, um, that EXTP got blown up by a GG. Ouch. I want yeah. you to pay attention on like how PME use his like sweep with Ferry because that's one of the strongest moves in the game in my opinion. Ferry have a really yeah, right. really fast sweep that he goes. Uh, there is like he have really good recovery on it. You can basically uh, not you cannot do anything to it. Like if he likes she likes sweep, it's so fast. It's like EX dive does give you a follow up if you hit not on block. And on block, it's definitely plus instead of maybe plus. Yeah, like most of his dive kicks, like even just like as the, uh, even not spaced, if he hits you and you block it, like it's definitely plus. Like you do not want to be after that, unless it's a DP. But... Oh, God. good follow right here. ZP with Ferry. I would say Ferry, her only weak 
like positioning is probably being on the corner other than that she does really well like on mid screen she does really well like far away like really close to her opponent uh, usually as well so the only the, her only weakness is like when you put her into a corner and really depends on the character as well right so. i would say if you if you play a character that doesn't really have a lot of mix up it's definitely going to be really difficult to open very up even in the corner because even when you don't have like an overhead left right or whatever mix up like oh she she can just block uh, her day he tried to dodge the opening to go for the and just killed him Well, also, um, what's there on this? So, actually, Chiro, this is one of the reasons why I think Katarina have a really good matchup against Ferry. Because I feel that Katarina, once she gets core control against Ferry, she can do really, really well. Mm, but Enchanted Lands is better that. at corner carrying than... You. Hey, Gothic is here. She's peeking behind the corner. Hey, Gothica! Mi amor, como estas? Did you just call her Gothic? No, I say Gothic, I think, Again. right? No, I'm talking about uh, the Superstar. Did you say Gothic? Again, guessing game. Oh, well, there you go. Que ondas, Gothica? Como estas, mi amor? Welcome to the stream. We are pretty much at the end of the tournament, by the way. This is winner finals, and then we're going to jump into loser semifinals after this. Oh, Fairy versus Metara. Deadpool is bringing out the big guns. Pew, pew. What is it right now? Is it 2-0? Uh, I can't hear yeah. escape anymore. Also, uh, Chiroi. I can hear him. You're yep. gonna have your fight on the stream, man. Oh, really? Yeah. I get to get my ass kicked twice, got it. Right. So you're gonna fight against Julio, yeah. Also, let me see. EWF, Wait, did did you gonna do like Guilty Gear tournaments? Yes, I always do. I usually do Guilty Gears on Sunday. Guilty Gears at 6 p.m. I think that's gonna continue to be the schedule. Every Sunday at 6 p.m., we're gonna have a Guilty Gear PC tournament. And speaking about Guilty Gear, we're gonna give away one... Uh, what be one beta key yeah. pretty it soon here on the street. Really like <laughs> oh, oh, good avoidance on the DP. Okay, so Gath underscore V1 just asked, where did you buy this game looking at long term play? I will say definitely 100%. Because um, if you think about it, this game is definitely getting a long term, a long -term support. Uh, the publisher of this game and, and the producer, Arc System Works, they are known for supporting their game for a very long time. Even as of right now, a old game such as Guilty Gear XX Accent 4 Plus R, it's still being supported for not online play. And on top of that, this game also has the close uh, support from Siva Games, which is one of the biggest mobile game industry in Japan. So this game is for here to stay. Oh it's man, the super here. Look at that damage, man. Holy snap. I'm Be surprised mean. I think that was it. Oh, he got it. That was a beating. You see? Wow. You should, this should be a sponsor stream, like an official sponsor stream. I'm here pushing so hard for people to buy this game. We should get sponsored <laughs> this game. <laughs> Somebody sponsor Chiroi! Artist at Works! Wait, where was sponsor that? Sponsor Chiroi, bros. Believe in victory. Let me go check that one out. Engage. Oh, for like... Um... Oh, yeah. I don't have a donation button. It's like, what the heck? Oh, you mean for direct relief? Oh, I'm gonna check that one out in a second, guys. So in this stream, guys, I changed my I changed my donation button for a permanent charity button. So we don't have a donation button in this stream anymore. What we're doing now is that every month we are raising awareness for a charity organization, right? So we had San Jude last month. We're having direct relief uh, this month. So direct relief is is helping. With like the coronavirus, they're like getting masks and like gloves and stuff like that for uh, health workers. So I'm gonna check that in a second, by the way. All right, so let's see what's going on right here. Ice versus Chiroi. Yo, Queen Brad, what's up? Also, quite amazing again. Thank you, man. I appreciate it for the sub. Oh, snap. You guys are super cool, you know. Uh, it makes me happy to come to a stream. You're always really nice uh, to me and, like, everybody. So, I appreciate you, people. Also, Prisoner donated $10 for uh, direct relief. Thank you, man. Wait, is that 10 Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. That's super, super cool. Thank you, man. Prisoner is definitely one of those heroes on the stream, dude. Give me some broad emojis from Prisoner donating to uh, Direct Relief to help uh, to help the health workers to get uh, masks and like gloves and stuff like that. 
Super, super cool, dude. Thank you. Also, let me go back to the commentary, guys. Heart emojis for everybody. Thank you, everyone. We're going to have uh, a giveaway pretty soon. Just between you and me, guys, all right? Don't tell anybody. Just you and me. We're going to have the giveaway in a little bit. All right. Cool stuff. Also, I see people talking on the chat about um, Final Fantasy seven i didn't i didn't got the game because i can't play anything for like two two weeks so i haven't checked anything about final fantasy 7 i know people are loving it by the way what do you guys think about final fantasy 7 is that good did they actually made a good job on it or what's up oh good anti-air oh kind of drop the combo though I guess I guess they did well because I, I haven't seen any videos about people complaining, right? You know when a game usually if a game is like disappointing, like they make a bunch of videos about it, then I haven't seen that many. So Final Fantasy VII remake is legit good. Oh snap. Oh, dropping in. Overhead. Shiro is doing really well. Try to get the air to air, changing sides. Good follow up. Continue with the pressure. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I think Shiri could have done more damage than that. I think he, he kinda went for like the the lowest, like the, the more um, sure damage, right? He's gonna take a, a risk. I think he could have killed. Oh, he got it now. Nice stuff. All right, Chiro is slowly but surely getting a little bit better in this tournament, guys. He, he's starting first a little bit. Really. No, that, what was that? Two to one. That was two, two to one. zero. Uh, two to zero. Two to zero. Also, oh, Chiro is gonna eliminate Ice. That's it. Ice is gonna be eliminated, guys. All right, so here we go, guys. This is gonna be loser finals. Let's get it. Chiro E versus Deadpool. Deadpool playing with Percival. Is two frames faster? Okay. Yeah, sometimes like the PC the PC ports are a little bit faster. Like for example, Tekken is better on the PC. Guilty Gear is better on the PC. Um I I'm not sure about Grand Blue. I don't know what's going on with like Grand Blue. Uh but we will see. I was having like some issues with the game, but maybe it was just me, right? Maybe I like I don't know, maybe I need to, like reinstall it or something. Oh, nice stuff right here. Also, cock gloves, yo, what up? I forget. I forgot your stream today. Well, I, I don't know if he's like trolling me because I have been like doing like Friday Friday streams for like a couple of years at this point. Guys, for anybody who's new, I'm escaping War Force. I do multiple tournaments for many different fighting games, and I'm one of the I'm one of the OG like anime streamers. I've been streaming like fighting games for like five years now. Uh, I do this for fun though. This is like my way to this stress. So I usually stream on the weekends. We do tournaments and stuff like that. And um, oh, on Fridays we usually have Grand Blue and Blaze Blue. We call it like Blaze Blue Fridays. Oh, got the corner control right here from Chiro. So this is gonna be one zero. So far he's doing amazingly well. He's beating some really strong players. Uh, however, guys, I did not stream for like two weeks, so I, this guy, I, I was like busy with like work and stuff. But it feels nice to be back on it, so I'm happy about it. Yeah, Blue Fridays. Yeah, we used to call it Blaze Blue Fridays, but right now we have Grand Blue and Blaze Blue, so I guess it's gonna be Blue Fridays uh, from now on. I'm doing a bunch of tournaments for Grand Blue, guys. We were doing four tournaments every week. And it have been working really well. Like a lot of people who join the tournaments, they have a lot of like uh, practice. So I can see some of the guys becoming really, really strong by like practicing and participating and stuff like that. So it makes me happy. I'm all about that place green though. Woo! I see you, muchacho. Believe in victory. 
That being saying, that's why I haven't seen it. I haven't got any of the skins from the shop, though. I finished the RPG mode. Oh, for like Percival? Ah, I see you. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't played that much of like the off uh, offline content. I haven't played the story mode or anything like that. Usually, when I have free time, I stream. So this is like my free time, right? So whenever I stream, I want to play with you guys. So I never like play story mode or anything like that. Oh, got a hit right there. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Is like story mode fun for this game? Have you guys played the RPG mode? What is your opinion on it? You guys tell me about it, right? I wanna wonder what you guys think. Deep there. Now let's try to analyze this fight a little bit. Oh wow, that was weird. That was a weird interaction between Catalina and uh ooh, he got it and Wayne. RPG mode is okay. It's a rapture. I'm leveling everybody. Okay. RP, RP mode, RPG mode is like, eh. The game story mode is fantastic, but the fighting game is a standard. Say Flex, uh, Felix. You think the fighting game is a standard? I disagree with you, man. I think this game is like a little bit of a diamond in a rough, in my opinion. Ah, going for the low. Oh, actually, guy with the overhead, I think. That was a good mix up right there. From that pool. So, this is going to be one and one if I'm correct. Could be wrong on that one because I got a little distracted. So, you guys let me know or I can check it out later. BB story mode is good. Blazebrook have a lot of content on like offline, right? They have like a long story mode. I have a, a lot of friends who got into Blaze Blue because of the story. Like they started to they jump into the game just because they, they thought that the story was kinda cool. And then they continue just to like the game after it. Oh good grab there. Here we go. Iggy activation. Let's see if Chiro is gonna be able to block this. I see. I feel like when you fight against uh, Luwain, oh man, nice stuff. Oh, he almost got it. I feel like then when you fight against Luwain, you have to anticipate the cheap damage, right? So when you're fighting, like you're already anticipating that. Oh my god. Going for, oh, that's punishable, by the way. You can punish that. Oh, there you go. He got it. Bruh. So I was saying, uh, when you fight against Luwain, you need to anticipate the cheap damage, right? Because if you try to like dodge the whole super, I mean it's possible, but you may make a mistake and then you can die, right? So sometimes you need to take the cheap damage. You try to like dodge the unblockables and like jump on the air and stuff like that, but you need to anticipate that you're gonna get some cheap damage out of it. Ooh. Nice. He has a super. He did not went for the super. Oh, well, speaking about Iggy, last chance. Oh, Chiro, he like tried to get some like little damage going on right now. Oh no, Chiro! Oh no, what happened? Did he was trying to do something? He just like went for an attack. Maybe he thought that the, the super was ending or something. Oh no, okay. Didn't get punished. Alright, let's try to uh, analyze this fight. Alright? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the chat in a little bit. Let's get for a BB tag turn again. I need to do some BB tag. I haven't done BB tag in some time. That game is a lot of fun. Oh man. Oh wow. Well, that pool is gonna get that. So, how are we doing right now? Let's see. This is 2 to 1, I believe. Correct if I'm wrong on that one, guys. I get a little bit too entertained by the fights and then I completely forget. Like the scoreboard. Will a Stripe kill uh, Grand Blue? No. They're pretty different. They're not like that similar. So for anybody who um, who is like trying to, uh, like is thinking of getting into Grand Blue. Grand Blue is a really like footsie heavy 
spacing heavy fighting game, like ground based fighting game. Oh man, the pressure. Nice stuff. Ooh, he got it with a counter. Nice stuff. So Granblue is like really ground based and really like footsie heavy type of fighting game, right? So if I can compare it to a fighting game, I will compare this fighting game more to a street fight. So it's, it's like a footsie heavy with punishing. It's all about like the little details, right? Like all those type of like little details in the in the game. And then damage is insane, but it's especially insane in counter hit. So I consider this game a little bit more of a smart fighting game. And what I mean with that is that there's some fighting games where you can do a lot of like crazy shit and nothing happened, right? You can you can take like a bunch of risk and like do a bunch of like crazy stuff. But Grand Blue, you need to be really smart. If you try to do crazy shit, you're gonna get counter hit and then you're gonna die, like really fast, right? So you, you cannot just go brainless and then play this game. You need to know when to uh, attack on the on the right the right time and right space for the most part all right here we go chiroi he will try to evade this one yeah so you you cannot just like turn off your brain and, and just do like crazy stuff you need to know what you're doing in this game oh no anti here all right dp last chance for chiroi ah he could have killed there good corner control is that punishable ah went for the low attack into the grab and that's gonna be it. That pool is gonna get this fight right here. GG's. Three to one. I think that was three to one. <laughs> I feel Grand Blue is way more watchable than the current uh, state of strife. Strife is a bit too flash. Yeah, that's actually one of the most common complaints. Like, when I look at it, I always almost feel like I'm gonna have a seizure. Hmm. <laughs> That's actually an interesting, uh, like, conversation, right, to have. Um, it's way too many effects, dude. Like, way too many. Uh, you see, I play a bunch of different fighting games. We do two runs for, like, pretty much everything, right? I like a lot of, like, cool fighting games. But, for example, one of the games that I like a lot is Skullgirls. I really, really like Skullgirls, right? But, but Skullgirls is the type of game that you need to play to know what is happening. Like, if somebody who don't play fighting games watches Call Girls, you don't know what's happening. It's, like, way too wild. It's, like, way too crazy, right? It's, like, super, super insane. Like, it's messy in some cases. I love it. Like, you know, you play fighting games and you watch Call Girls, oh, man. That game is, like, so high level, it's crazy. But... As an spectating game, it's really difficult to read. It's like really, really hard to read. Whenever I do a tournament, I, I try my best to like explain like what is happening. But for example, Skullgirls is like way too crazy, right? So in that case, that's like a, a difficult spectating game. Uh, See, that's kind of the thing though. It's like, if you know anything about the game, it probably, here's the thing. People who doesn't know anything about Guilty Gear, they, when they watch Guilty Gear, they'll be like, oh my God, what, what the hell is happening? But when it's uh, but people who actually knows about Guilty Gear, well, no, because that's actually one of the things I experienced. Because I went to uh, Frosty Fausting with my friends, right? Mm -hmm. And Beam one of them is one. a one of them is a strictly like Tekken player, but he was just happen just so happened to be there when we when um, Guilty Gear Grand Finals was on. So we were watching, and the whole time I was getting hyped. Oh my god, he went for that. He went for this, and then. On my, on my side, my friend's just like, wait, what is going on? So what I the heck like, is going on? Yeah, yeah so the so, people that actually know about the game will know what is going on. Yeah, so I, I would say, what I was trying to say is that Skullgirls is like far to the right. It's like way too crazy, right? Way too difficult to see. And then Grand Blue and like a Street Fighter is more to like the left. It's like a little bit more clean. It's like a little bit more easy to understand, like, like food season and stuff like that. And then I would say Guilty Gear is like more to the crazy side, but not too crazy. It doesn't go into like a Skullgirls territory, in my opinion. But but then Guilty Gear Strive is a they're trying to make it a little bit more easy to read, even more than like Revelator, because it's more about the spacing instead of like a lot of like crazy movement, like regular Guilty Gear. So I feel like Strive they're trying to make Strive a little bit more like clean on the spectating area, I think. 
Oh, by the way, I think PME taunt, but I don't know if he was trying to taunt. I think that was a miss input. Mm, I did not see. Yeah, he, he went for like a taunt, but I think it was like a miss input from, from his part. Also, guys, after this Grand Finals, we're going to have one uh, key giveaway for the Guilty Gear Strive Beta. So don't go anywhere. We're going to have a small... Um, Guilty Gear Strive is liberal. <laughs> I wasn't trying to say that, okay? I was trying, trying to talk about, like, on the right was, like, too crazy and the left was, like, more clean. You know, I was trying to make, like, a visual representation of it. But anyway. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, no, but just got caught again. Ah, he got it. Nice stuff. I like this skin for Iggy. It's like Rosera. That girl right there. Woo! They know their demographic, dude. I'm telling you. They know what's up. The like, oh, you play Grand Blue? Isn't that a game that you try to collect waifus? Okay. Not necessarily. You also collect dudes. I guess. You're right. You're right. Catalina's on my team, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Look at the pressure right here. Try to get it with a low. You know, surprisingly, Catalina's actually not that popular. What did you mean? As a waifu? Uh, in, or? The game. In, in the game. Like, there was character poll ranking, like popularity. Uh -huh. I think on top was. Oh, oh what happened? I don't Is know. that me? Did I get disconnected? Oh, wait, Am I wait, here? wait, it's, it's still going? It's, it's a PowerPoint. I don't know. It went like crazy right, for a little I think bit. We're back. I think we're back. I think we're back. Guys, resume, Yo, guys, resume. we can, we can redo the round resume. if you want. Oh. Yeah. Redo the round if you want, but like if it's playable, then you can resume. Yeah, you guys want to continue playing, you can do it. But we can redo the, the round if you want. Mm -hmm. It's good for me, either way. I think we're going. Yeah, we're going. I don't know, it's up to them, right? Whatever, whatever they, like, feel. All right, I, I guess love how Dappo just got, like, a free food in, like, what PM is like, are we, are we going? Are we not? That Dappo just, like, food and heal. <laughs> oh, got a hit right here. Now, remember, this PM is, is on the winner bracket side. Any... Look at that, with Catalina. That's how my girl likes it. Oh! That's how my gear likes it. Oh, man, come on, guys. It's still the crunchy rolls. Super. Oh, look at that. Look at the dodge. Oh, two hits on her though. This is going to hurt. Oh, that kick, that kick. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, I think I think this is it, right? If, if PME wins here, he wins here. I think this may be the last fight. Yeah, I was like really distracted with that. I was having a lot of fun watching Six this seconds. fight. He's trying to Eight seconds. Out. Oh, did, did she get it? Six. She got it. Five. Oh, that's going to connect. Yes. And he got it. Is that three to one? I need to check this one out. That's three to one, I think. Let nope. Me check two, it out. Two, uh... Is it two to one? There's one more fight, I think. Wait, what's that? Okay. Is that it? I don't know. I think did he, did he change a character? Man, I'm telling you, bro. I was like having so much fun. He did not. He's he stuck with the Wayne. I think there's one more. All right. So that pool. Let me tell you what's up with that pool. That pool is a really good Metera. Metera is like his main character. So I'm expecting for him to change his character to Metera. And then this time he's going to try to play for real. Let's see how this goes. Now remember guys, these two guys are really, really good. That pool, like he was doing really well on Wednesday night fights for a couple of times. Um, unfortunately, a lot of like events and tournaments have have been like like canceled or like moved to another time because of the coronavirus. So these two guys haven't been able to compete too much in like major tournaments. But I can tell you, both of these guys are gonna be kicking some some people booties in like major tournaments once they the tournaments come back, right? Major tournaments come back. I consider PME one of the best ferries in like North America. He's really really good. Now, let's see if they're going to be able to play with each other, though. Hopefully, this is not too laggy. So, I let's get it. Uh, mm, PME keeps on whipping grab when he's on the swing, though. I'm not sure if he's just canceling it out or possible. So, Chiroi, what would be your opinion, man, about this matchup? Like, Metera versus uh, Ferry. Wins. Oh, look at that. Jump back and forth for the control. Uh, the reason I say Woo! Ferry win is the reason why Barry wins most fireball matches. Because here's the thing, uh, Matera does get uh, an advantage in the fact that she gets to jump around, which changes trajectory off the fireball. 
which makes it hard for Fairy to get rid of. But if we're just talking about ground to ground zoning, where both of them are just head to head at each other, Fairy has definitely got the, the advantage 100% on the back. Because here's the thing. With, with Fairy, what do you want to do? You want to close in, but Matera doesn't really have a lot of close-in option. And even though when she does gets in and tries to go for a mix-up, Fairy also, uh, also has that DP, which makes this matchup okay, very difficult for Deadpool. Okay, this is going to be big damage right here. Still gets a DP off of it. Look at that. You'll be back. SK to a next level. Isn't it? Isn't that like a spooky tournament? Bro, I will be down. Hell yeah. Oh my All god. Right. We're, at, we're at match point for uh, PME. Yeah, if PME wins this round, he's going to become the champion. Let's see if that pool is going to be able to pull something up right here. Now, Metera is a strong character. The only problem for Metera is her defense, right? Like, oh, look at that. I... He whips the instant overhead, though. Would have hit him if he, if he didn't. That pool so, was crouching. So Metera doesn't have a lot of really good defensive options. Yes, but look at this, though. This but, is something you don't see a Metera do. He's just going in. Yeah, her offense is really good. Like, Metera have really, really good offense. Oh, look at Ooh, this. Though. Nice this is going to be a big combo right here into the super. No questions asked. That was at the uh, very big. Oh! Help, help me here. That's it. That's it. Nice stuff, That's going to be 2 to 2. Yo, that, that pool is like... Reset. Yeah, that pool is like when Super Saiyan Jin. You, you know how in Dragon Ball, when like Goku, like he have like ways and then he like, he like take them off and he becomes stronger. That's what's going on with that pool. He was like playing with his secondary and he's like, okay. Then he pull out by main. Here we go. Let's get a oh, real fight now. PME is in. Red than staying at full screen. He's choosing to go in. Oh, look at that, though. You have to watch out for that. The air dash on Matera is so good. You cannot with a button against it. Because the moment you do, she is in your face. Okay. Yeah, I would say Matera probably have the advantage on, like, air mobility. Like, right there, right? Yes. Like, she, she can, ground like... Ground, yeah, she can jump in, like, in, like, different angles. And it's going to be difficult for Ferry. Oh, look at that. He just landed on GG. Oh, the overhead. Here we go. What's the pressure going to be? Just waiting. Oh, that did not connect. Did I don't think so. He did not button, but you don't, do not get to punish that. Oh, I think that kill. He got it. That kill. That's it. That was a I really, mean, really tight punish, by the way. He had like, like a couple of frames I, to do that. Actually, I think PME will try to win for a button. Like he already yeah. recovered, but I think he would try to win for a button. Yeah. Oh, you think? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I think. Because the animation looked like it. It looked like he already recovered. Hmm, okay. Because that super is really hard to punish. Like, especially at that distance. And plus, Matera does not have an uh, amazing ground button, which means that PME had to have to win for something, got hit, and then confirm into a super. Oh, cool look at answer. Though. Pretty good fight right here, guys. This is going really, really well. Oh, look at this, though. PME just say no. Here. My corner. Oh, good answer. Got shot. Woo! Ah, uh, he dropped the combo, but that was actually kind of cool. Oh, look at this, though. Ground bounce. Corner control. Cheap damage. Oh, good punish. I think it's one oh! combo for both parties. That's it. That's it. I think that's it. Yo, that Wait, was no, a no. meaty, like, jumping on that. That does gonna kill. That's it. That one is gonna get this 3 to 2, and we're gonna have a reset, if I'm correct. Yes, you're right. So we're gonna go back zero zeros, my guys. Reset on that. Kami needs to get his act together because he is letting Dapu getting those jumps in, two? getting those overheads. Oh, never mind. Wait, never what? mind, guys. I was wrong on that. Two, two and two, two, everybody. Let's Wait, get it. But I thought it was two to one when we started, or that's what you said, right? Mm, I don't know. Hey. You know what? I did not make a mistake. Uh, that was on purpose. I wanted to know if you guys were paying attention. Yeah, yeah, oh, Look at this, though. P DP, get off me. GG, get out there. What's the mix-up going to be? Just trying to fish for something. Look at this, though. PM just standing still, waiting for a button. Butterfly flies over. Just, just a bit. Oh, good anti-air from PME. GG, get out there. Look good dodge right there. But GG's going to hold him down. Going to hold this pressure for the next 30 seconds. That should What's be gonna enough be? It's not going to kill that. It's dead. All right. Last chance for... Uh for that pool. Now, I would say that pool definitely want to take the offense, right? He don't want to be on the defense against Ferry. If it's 2-2, two two, the then this is match point for PME, dude. Yeah, let's see. Oh, look at this. This is going to be really bad. What's the oh. mix-up going to be? Instant overhead oh, into the DP. What's the mix-up going to be? Run up, tries to go for the grab, I think, but just dashes out. Right now, the situation is completely reversed. Oh, PME is in the corner with Matera here. 
With DP, oh. that's a really bad look. Look at that. Oh. Look at all those jumps. Look at all those jumps. Just disrespect yourself. Like, entire me if you can. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Though. Oh, that's, that's pretty simple. That's pretty simple. Oh, good crap, don't more. Once oh, again, goes for the EXPP, it. but no, drops the oh, punish. Oh no, okay, the punish. Switch to your side, that's ah, it. I think he died. I think that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's gonna be it. PME is gonna get this, but that will have a really good chance to win that. He dropped two combos in a row right on the corner, and PME just capitalized really, really well to get the win and become the champion of the universe for today. That was a beautiful tournament. Awesome, awesome fight. Give me some clappy emojis, guys, for PME and that pool.